About 15 years ago, we were able to get away from using ozone to control odor, which was quite problematic. I was very happy to receive a new method of odor control, which is carbon filtration. So essentially, what we are doing is pulling the odor contaminated air through a bed of carbon. The carbon has the capacity to absorb that odor. Odor is a VOC, a volatile organic compound. So charcoal has pores. The pores in charcoal can be anywhere from 6 to 20 microns in size. Your typical odor molecule is upwards of close to 20 microns in size. So you will see a variety of qualities of carbon on the market. Very common is to see carbon that is pelletized, crushed into a pellet. When you do that, you slightly reduce the pore sizes. So therefore, you actually need more carbon to do the same job. So when we're looking at carbon filters, we're going to have a certain amount of carbon that is going to be given a cubic feet per minute rating, a CFM rating, as to how much air can be pulled through that carbon and still absorb the odor. So when you're looking at carbon filters, it's crucial that you match the size of the fan to the filter. Otherwise, if you draw the air too quickly through the filter, the odor molecules will just slip through and the carbon will not be able to do its job. Right? So when you're looking at the different filters on the market, you're going to see some filters that are very heavy, there's a lot of carbon in there, and say it handles 450 CFM, right? And you can see another filter that is really light, pick it up with two fingers, <coughs> and still handle 450 CFM. Right? So what's going on there? The carbon in this filter, this uh, fresh filter by Green Planet, is flake carbon. So it has not been compressed. The size of the pores are upwards of 20 microns. So that's why this filter can be so light. It's full of air space. Okay? It's not the charcoal that absorbs the odor. It's the pore the airspace that absorbs the odor. So the more airspace I have in this carbon to absorb odor, therefore, th the more odor it can absorb, the lighter it can be to handle the same airflow. So that dispels the confusion. Like, why is this filter heavy? Why is this one light? And some people think, oh, it's heavy, it's got more carbon, it must be better. Well, not really. What we're talking about is the quality of the carbon, right? So if you have poor quality carbon, your filter's going to have to be really heavy and really big. If you have great quality carbon, your filter's going to be light and easy to deal with and not as big, okay? So another thing to consider when we're dealing with this query is what size of filter do we need? As I said, we have to match the fan to the filter. So in this case, when I'm looking at a 450 CFM carbon filter, I'm looking at a six inch fan. Now there's two ways that people use carbon filters. Number one, if a garden is being cooled by intake and exhaust, then we're going to put our carbon filter on the exhaust. That way, all the air leaving the garden is free from odor contamination. Okay? Another way to use carbon filters, say you're in a cooler climate, or uh, where, where you can't exhaust when the lights are off, otherwise you lose all your heat, uh, we simply run what we call scrubbers. So we just place this fan on top of the filter and just circulate the air in the garden 24-7 through that carbon, reducing the overall odor load in the garden itself. So in the case of a sealed room where we're cooling the garden with air conditioners, uh, we're, not gonna be, we're enriching with CO2, we're not going to be exhausting, therefore we're going to need a whole bunch of scrubbers to handle that odor load. You know, to say how many scrubbers will I need for a particular size garden, it's a little tough because different strains have different amounts of odor that they emit, so sometimes the way to approach it is to put in, say, a good size scrubber, like an 8 inch fan and filter for, say, every 6,000 watts, and 
If it's enough, great. If not, you could throw in another little six inch, a nice little portable unit that you might be able to use somewhere else, right? So essentially, what I'm getting at is that carbon is the best form of non-toxic odor control and it is definitely something that you want to utilize in your garden, not only to prevent the neighborhood from smelling, but to have cleaner air in your garden. Carbon is the best filter substrate. So looking at the filter, it looks really great like this. And you'll notice it has very large holes here to handle great airflow. But we don't really want to see this plugged up with dust. And sometimes gardens can be a little dusty. So we have a dust jacket that the filter comes with, which slips nice and neatly over the outside of the metal cylinder and protects it from excess dust. Uh, we can simply vacuum these when they get dirty. It is possible to replace it. However, they usually last for the lifetime of the filter and it has nothing to do with the actual odor control. It is simply a dust filter.